Welcome to CGNet's series of helpful videos on getting the most out of Office 365. Today we're going to discuss Office Mobile for iOS and demonstrate how you can edit a SharePoint file. Hi, today we're going to show you how to edit a document using Office Mobile for iOS. We're going to start with a document on your desktop and it's the end of the day and you're working on this Word document and you are just about to put a title into it and you center it and about this time you decide that you have to go home. So you're not done with the document but uh, you've done as much as you can do at the office so you have to save it. Well in order to get it so that it can be read by your iPhone. You have to save it to either your SkyDrive or in this case we're going to uh, save it to a SharePoint site. So we click on the SharePoint site and we click on the Share Documents folder and eventually that opens up and you can see the Share Documents folder. Now we're going to call this the fifth interview. Um, and we're going to save it to Share Documents. So now, the document has been, has been saved. It's called Nodak Fifth Interview, and it's saved to SharePoint. We're going to close the document at this point. That may be important, because if you have it open at the same time that you're trying to access it by phone, you may get a message that it's locked. Now, as you can see here, we have our SharePoint site opened, and we're going to refresh it. And doing that, we now see that, uh, and clicking on the Modified tab, we see that the Novak Fifth Interview is in fact shared on our SharePoint site. So we know the document's there. Now when you get to your iPhone, uh, you can go to um, Office Mobile and you can open up Office, Office Mobile. And we're already logged in. So now here you see that Novak Fifth Interview is uh, on the list of documents that have been uh, saved today. So what you do is you just open it by touching it. And it gets downloaded to your screen. So here's the article. You see that it's all nicely formatted, and you can look at it all. Uh, there's nothing that slops over the margins. If you want to turn your phone sideways, you can get a broader column to look at. So if you want to edit it, what you do is you tap on the screen, and you get the... Whoop, let's do it this way. Yeah, you get the little edit box. And you can't save it because it's saved in Word 97 or 2003. So now you've learned something about your documents, which is you have to be you have to save them in DocX. Well, that's a little frustrating. Anyway, what we've now done behind the scenes is we've gone back and saved the document as a DocX. And now we'll show you how to pull up the new DocX version uh, version of this document. And we go back here, and we go back here to the main screen and we refresh and this is in fact fifth interview version 2 and so we open that and it opens it and it's going to look the same but there it is version 2 and now we can edit it and so to edit it we press the uh, come on little edit square there and we get the traditional sort of um, iOS editing screen and what we want to do here is we want to change this number four. And now we're done. And we say we're done editing. And to save it, we push on the little page and we say save. And now, in fact, the document has been saved back to our SharePoint file. And if we want to see that, we can, we can look at our SharePoint file. And we can say, let's update it here. And we'll go modified. And there's the fifth interview version 2. And if we open that document, which we will do in this case using the word web app, 
we see that it has been changed and it is now four vendors compared. And so through the magic of iOS, Office Mobile and SharePoint, we have been able to edit the document uh, after we left the office by using our iPhone. Thanks for watching our video. If you need any help with Office 365 in any way, please get in touch with us at the addresses on the screen.